Hi Strings One, hope you're doing good. Welcome to week two video. It's it's a one day late, but it's okay. Um, next week, there'll be no video due to spring break. So I hope you'll have a good spring break. Um, so this week, uh, or this past week, we had um, an assignment from pages 22 to 28, I believe, something like that, 22 to 28. Um, so this week, we're gonna add a few more pages. I'm gonna do a little review first, starting on page 26, talking about the G string. Yes, G string. So we talked about last week, uh, fingerings for it, and it's the same fingering as always. One, two, three. So G, A, B, C. Um, now can you play that along with me? Number 93, just on the G string. One, two, ready, and. Very good. Now let's go on to 94, third finger on the G string. One, two, ready, and. Oops, I was a little off. Okay, so I don't have any tape. So you guys practice. Let's do it one more time with Miss Fong's correct note. Here we go. 94. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, 95, uh, second finger, which is B. Check that note right there. Make sure you're on the second tape. One, two, ready, and. Good job, 96, first finger, A. One, two, ready, and. job um, moving on uh, let's do G major scale 98 um, and then we'll do 99 uh, practicing our fourth finger on the G string uh, I'll do a little bit of a review on 101 and 102 go back on 28 and then we'll get going into the new music for this week okay here we go we have 98 half notes so a lot slower longer notes one two ready and <laughs> Reach out with your fourth finger. One, two, ready, and. All righty, 101, Baba Black Sheep. Won't go too fast. Moderate tempo, medium tempo. Here we go. One, two, practicing that fourth finger so I'll go a little bit slower just so that everyone can catch up with that fourth finger especially since we're starting on a fourth finger okay so here you go set it up one two three four I don't have tape but I think you guys understand what I'm talking about since you guys have the tape on your violins all right here we go one oh two one two ready and <laughs> Let's try 
that one more time slightly slower if you needed a little bit more time to catch up that's totally fine let's do that a little bit slower to page 28 page 28 um we've talked about this quarter notes half notes dotted half notes whole notes we know it all uh go back to video one if you want a little bit more review of where i talked about that uh, but i think this week kind of already know so i want to just keep moving on and get to the new stuff that we're going to be going over for this week okay here we go d major we done g major D major, D major has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Get those fingers ready. And F sharp and C sharp is just second finger on the D string and second finger on the A string. All right, here we go. One, two, one, oh, five. <laughs> notes in there 106 French folk song here we go slow version and then a slightly faster version one two three to get into the new stuff all right page 29 uh, let me look through it really quick let's see we're gonna do page 29 page 30 page 31 and hmm let's see if we can get to page 32 um, probably just stop at page 31 until spring break and then I'll start with page 32 the following week after spring break but you are more than welcome to go ahead in the book if you feel like you are ready but for now, I think there should be a lot of ex um, uh, practice examples for you guys to practice over spring break and um, for the next half of the week after that. So here we go. New homework assignment. Page 29. Um, here we're going into curved lines, as you can see, curved lines in your music. What are these curved lines, Miss Fong? Well, let me tell you that. There's two types. There's one that connects two of the same notes together, and there's another one that connects different notes together. So the first one we see at the top of our page of at number 108, let me just give you a little quick peek, put my violin down. Okay, here, we have tie. Now, tie is the one that connects the same note. When we 
are tying our notes together. We're connecting the same note um, and we're connecting the counts within the notes. Now it's like tying your shoelaces. The, uh, when you're tying your shoelaces, you're tying the shoelace in the same shoe, right? You're not taking your right foot string and your left foot string and tying those together. You won't be able to walk. So same idea here. We need to tie the same note together in order to have that same count worth. Okay, so here uh, we are having an example of two quarter notes being tied together. With those two quarter notes, because they are the same note name, and what note is that? That's E. We have two E quarter notes tied together. That means you're gonna hold that E not only for one beat, but you're gonna hold it for that second beat as well. And you're not going to play E, E, it's just gonna be E, two counts, done. Okay, let me show you how to play 108 now. Violin back up. Here we go. 108, very slowly. Um, I'm going to play it the way first, how you would think you would have to play it. but And then I will play it a second time showing you how the tie note should go. So you have that comparison between, oh, this is how a slur or how a tie goes and how my regular notes should sound. Okay, here we go. First way is how you would think you would play it. <laughs> And then now here's the real way to play a tie. Remember, we're tying the beats together. We're tying the same notes at its worth together. And in this case, we have two quarter notes. So one beat plus another one beat equals two beats. Very nice, two beats. Here we go. One, two, ready, and half note, tied note. If you look down on the next part, next part of your page, in 109 all the way to the rest of the page, we have something called slurs. The slurs look exactly the same, but guess what? They're slightly different. They're slightly different in a way where it's not connecting the same note as the tie was. The tie was doing E to E. Now we're going from, let's say, E to D or E to F. It's connecting two different notes. Now, the slur is telling you how you should play the notes, right? It's not telling you to play separate notes. It's not telling you to do anything else, but to connect the notes. Miss Fong, how do we connect the notes? Good question. We are gonna connect the notes by playing two notes in one bow stroke, okay? Let me show you that. Now, usually we're playing separate bows for every note. <laughs> But now we're gonna play two notes in one bow. So do you hear that? I play D to E in one bow. Okay, why don't you try now with me? One, two, ready, and. Very good. So all you have to do is play that one bow stroke and sneak that finger in before your bow runs out. Now let's go a little faster. Now let's see how fast you can go. Last time. Okay, I don't know if you can go that fast, but if you were, great job. Wish I can hear it. Hey, okay, here we go, 109, play that with me. One, two, ready, and. Rest, rest, back down. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, rest. Good. One, ten. One, two, ready, and rest, 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 rest. I'm gonna cut it off here for part one of the video because remember I have that time uh, slot that I need to cut it off so that I can load it up on YouTube. So I'll be back with part two.